Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to turn a wine bottle into a scarecrow. So you'll need a wine bottle. The size of it doesn't matter, it's totally up to you. You'll need a straw hat. I got mine at Hobby Lobby, I believe. Some fall florals from Dollar Tree. So I got some sunflowers and some leaves, some raffia. Some white chalk paint. This is going to be our base coat. Some white, black, maroon, and an off-white. That's an antique white. And acrylic paints. And you'll also need some twine. So the first step is to prime the bottle. So we're going to use our chalk paint for that. So I'm going to paint the entire bottle with white chalk paint. And I did a couple of coats of that. Then I'm going to take this antique white and give it a couple of coats of that also. And I allow it to dry in between every coat that I give it. And I'm using a very soft bristled brush so that I don't get any brush lines and that all the paint goes on nice and smooth. Once that is all dry, I'm going to take my twine and I'm going to wrap it around the entire neck of the bottle. So I'm just going to hot glue a piece and then I'm going to just start wrapping. I'm going to wrap the entire neck of the bottle with the twine. Once I have the twine all wrapped up and glued off at the end, I'm going to start drawing my face on my scarecrow. So I'm just going to take a pencil and draw dashed dotted lines all the way down the center of the bottle. And when I get about halfway, I'm going to make like an upside down rounded off triangle. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be an artist to do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I keep messing up. That's why I'm using a pencil and I erase right on the bottle. So there's my upside down triangle and I just kind of rounded off all the corners. And it's not perfect. And I'm going to draw his mouth. And that's just like a half a circle with two little half circles at the ends. And then I'm just going to draw X's throughout the whole mouth. Next, I'm going to draw two ovals for his eyes. And again, this does not have to be perfect. Two little half lines over his eyes for eyebrows. And then I'm going to finish off the dotted line down the middle. Next, I'm going to just paint his nose with the burgundy color. And again, I'm just using a small, soft, bristled brush to do so. And this may take a couple of coats. So I did one coat and then I put on another one after this coat had dried. Next, I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to start outlining all of the smaller parts. So this is going to be all of the lines that I did down his face, his mouth, his eyebrows, and the X's on his mouth. Once I have his eyebrows done, I'm going to start using that same paintbrush, which is very, very small, like liner brush, to do his eyes. And I'm just going to fill those in with the black. And then finally, I'm going to outline his mouth. Also using the same brush with the same black acrylic paint.
if using a paint pen for those last steps would be easier for you, then you should definitely do that. Now I'm gonna add sort of his characteristics using some white paint and a thin liner brush. So I'm just gonna take that white paint and put a little line on either side of his eyes. Just gonna kind of bring him to life a little bit. Next, I'm gonna use the back side of the paintbrush to do a dot on each one of his eyes. I'm gonna draw a little bit of a line around his nose. Take some of that black paint and I'm just gonna do a couple of little lines around his nose to kind of make it look like it was stitched. I'm just using a thin liner brush for that. Next, I'm gonna take a pouncer, a sponge pouncer, and I'm just gonna put it in the burgundy and I'm gonna kind of brighten up his cheeks, two little circles on each side with a very, very small amount of the burgundy paint. And look, he's come to life. How stinking cute is he? Next, I'm gonna take the straw hat and I'm gonna just cut the top right off of it. I'm just gonna kind of rip it all apart I don't want it to be perfect. I kind of want it to be raggedy and falling apart and kind of looked pulled apart. So that's what I'm doing. Once I have that all done, I'm gonna slide it over the top of the bottle right down the neck of the bottle. Next, I'm just gonna take some raffia. I'm just gonna take a long strand of it I'm gonna wrap it around the underneath of the hat. So right at the base of the neck of the bottle. And I'm just gonna tie it in a knot. Then I'm gonna trim it down. And then I'm just gonna pop the hat right down on top of it. So you won't even see the knot that you just made and it will hold it right in place. Next, I'm gonna take some more raffia and cut into strands that are kind of small. I'm gonna wrap them in half and start gluing them in the top of the neck of the bottle. The video was too close, so I didn't get that I was actually doing that, but here's how it looks. So I'm just gonna just keep stuffing it in and filling the top with the raffia that I cut until I get the look that I want at the top with just like the raffia coming out. And then I'll just trim it all down to where I want it to be and how I think it looks good. Next, I'm gonna take the leaves and the sunflowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to embellish his hat. So you can do this whatever way you want. I just added a few leaves and some of the sunflowers and just kind of gave him the look that I was looking for. Now that I have the hat embellished how I'd like, I'm going to take a gloss Mod Podge and run a nice thick coat over the whole bottle to protect it.
and there he is all finished. How stinking cute is he? I absolutely love the way that he turned out. You guys can make him your own. Like I said, if you need to use paint pens, that's perfectly fine. If you want to add different features, that's totally up to you. This is just the idea to get your gears turning and make your own. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to spread the chaos.